Woke up this morning, think I'm about to go some of the day. Best friend got caught up when I stayed in Douglasville. What's good with y'all today? Um, so today we have something not too crazy. Something talking about Mac Miller. <clears throat> it's actually the lost songs of Mac Miller. Um, me, Mac Miller is one of my favorite artists. I started listening to him like around the time he passed away. It sucks. It sucks. I wish him. And MF Doom, around the time they started to pass, well, around the time they passed, before they passed, I started listening to them. And I was like, yo, I love this, I love this. And then they pass away, and I'm sad, I'm heartbroken, you know? Had a very long it career, sucks. dropping his first mixtape in 2007 and his last album while he was alive in 2018. Throughout his career, he's mentioned songs, albums, and collaborations that have never come to fruition. Couple that with secret releases and alter egos, Mac Miller has accumulated quite a bit of lost, unreleased, and unknown music. He stated before that he has thousands of songs that he just sits on. So join me today as we look into the lost songs of Mac Miller. Dude, I'm always sitting on like nine projects, for real. There's like so, because it takes me mm, like five or six albums to get to the album I want to put That's out. Crazy. I want to clarify that I'm using the term lost loosely. A lot of the songs mm. that I'm going to be talking about have either been leaked or scrapped, but there's no doubt that Mac has a ton of lost music. And True. a quick disclaimer, I don't want to encourage the spreading of leaks at all. Edan, a close friend and producer of Mac Miller's, said that leaks are ruining potential future releases, and I would hate for leaks to be the reason that we don't get any more future releases, yeah. but I do understand why people want to... Because I heard, like, a year or two... Kendrick rapping about all this stuff and it was never on his album. I'm like, yo, y'all the reason why them niggas don't drop shit. Y'all can't leak stuff. Look, I feel like they should have a website dedicated to it, right? And the artist could say whether to keep it or not. Or just don't do it and respect the artist's wishes, especially if the artist passed away. That's fucked up. Cause people still doing that. You know what I'm saying? Same with MF Doom. And I'm like, yo, y'all don't need to be doing all that, bro. Respect their wishes, you know? Respect their loved ones enough to not, you know, mess up their legacy. Because they still have to put food on their table. When I listen to unreleased music. Also, take everything I say in this video with a grain of salt. Because mm. when dealing with lost albums and songs yeah. and stuff like that, a lot of the information can be a little foggy. Anyways, let's hop into it. So one of the most interesting and well-known projects that Mac had in the works is a project called Pink Slime. It was a collab album with Pharrell that was teased for a while but eventually scrapped. Mac began teasing the album around late 2011. He also said that they had around 10 to 11 tracks on the project. They released two singles from the album, On a Roll and Glow. There was also a few different release dates that were pushed back for different reasons. Finally, it was pushed back because Mac wanted to focus on his album watching movies with the sound off and probably eventually scrapped it since it didn't really fit the sound of the direction he was moving in. The Lost Songs and include a song called Coffee Table that Mac had tweeted about, and a song called Flying High, which may sound familiar. The reason it sounds familiar is because apparently that beat was given to Travis Scott and used on his album Rodeo for the song Flying High. There is a snippet out there with Mac's verse on it. This big smile right here. Yeah, they never heard it. Have y'all heard this? It's also confirmed that Styles P was supposed mm. to be on the album, but the rest really? of the songs were lost except for the song Dreams, which was leaked. Your Shoes Are Untied is a project that we know about because of a screenshot from Mac's TV show, Mac Miller and the Most Dope Family. The screenshot has Mac's computer with his iTunes open, with a bunch of different projects listed in his playlist, one of them being Your Shoes Are Untied. He also hinted at it once in his Instagram bio. Supposedly, it was a collaborative project between himself and Bad Bad Not Good. The project was also in the works between 2012 and 2013. Fans are only aware of three songs that have leaked, but don't have any other information about the album. The Adventures of Super Weirdo was another project that was listed on Mac's computer. Similar to Your Shoes Are Untied, we don't really know anything about this project other than three leaks. They are assumed to be intended for this project because of their lyrics, production, names, and stuff like that. The rest of the tracks for this project are either unknown or lost. It's possible that these two albums were never even recorded or never finished, but we're not sure. 
Splinterism is another well-known and very interesting that project that Mac cool Miller though. had in the works. I like so. It was apparently art. recorded around the same time as Faces and has similar themes, really? but was even darker. The cover art that I showed was mm. from an artist that Mac Miller commissioned. The entirety of the track list has been leaked by users on leaking websites. Not much else is known about the album other than mm. the tracks being leaked. It was likely recorded in the Sanctuary with the song Colors and Shapes being on the track list, which was later moved to Faces. It's also known that Mac- Hell yeah, bro. I'm trying to build my own Sanctuary up in this piece, you feel me? But real talk. Once I get a little bit more successful, <laughs> I'm a, what you call it? I'm a, you know, get my own property and just literally build my own studio. It's going to be a legendary studio out my spot. Like, artists that I fuck with, people I fuck with that come through, record, hang out. I'm my ball at that, bro. That's my goal as a, you know. Max's brother registered a website domain called balloonerism.com back in 2014. There's a really good video about it from J-E-J-D. Bet, I'm going to do a video on that. Thank you, though. 7-1. So check that out if you want to learn more. Between 2014 and 2017, Mac Miller and Madlib were working on a project called Maclib. This project was very much so real and was first mentioned by a friend and producer of Mac Miller's by the name of Thelonious Martin. Thelonious said in an interview that Madlib confirmed the album to him personally. He says, So I'm opening for Madlib and about 15, 20 minutes left in my set, Madlib pulls up. Pete Rock walks up as well. So I'm trying to focus and DJ and Madlib gets on and 15 minutes into his set, he just randomly plays a Mac Miller joint. And I turn to him, I'm like, there's more of these, right? He said, oh yeah, there's a whole album. Um, Maclib. Madlib has also played a few snippets of some songs during his live DJ sets. Mm. He played one track at a show on July 12th of 2019 mm. and another featuring Thundercat on March 17th of 2019. Okay. Neither of the tracks have titles as far as we're aware. There are also two more tracks that have leaked snippets. Thundercat also says that he was there when the album was recorded and that it blew his mind away. We do not know of any other tracks and Madlib has since said that there are no official plans to release the album. In an interview, Thelonious Martin said that Swimming was originally going to be called Guidelines. He also produced the title track for said album and released it as a single, which was the last song that Mac Miller had released before he died. Because of this statement, mm. it's assumed that Guidelines mm. was just turned into Swimming. But some fans think that Guidelines was a standalone project, although that isn't entirely likely. There's a few snippets that were recorded around the same time that Swimming was. The song Hi Waii and Mac Miller yeah. Dollar Sign One were apparently listed for sale on a leak website, and the song Lovebirds was mentioned by one of Mac Miller's photographers. Other than that, we don't know any other songs, but that's all the information we have on guidelines. Metro, Metro Boomin and Mac Miller had planned on making a collaborative project to drop all By the way, rest in peace to um Metro Booming um Metro Booming Mom. I hate to hear about that alongside the Divine Feminine as some sort of double album, but it was scrapped and only the song Real was leaked. There's also another version of the song Real featuring Lil Uzi Vert. The rest of the unnamed project remains lost, and we aren't sure how much of it was even recorded, although it was most definitely in the works, as Mac Miller stated in an interview. I had this joint that I did with uh, with Metro, boom, and that's like some real, you know, some, some yeah. hard stuff. Yeah, go because I was working on those two simultaneously. There was a love album and there was a really hard album that I was going to release as a double album. Ooh. There's going to be a one person speaker box love below, but I decided to focus a little okay. more. There are also tons and tons and tons of leaked throwaways from different album eras. Mac has also mentioned that him and Thundercat have thousands of unreleased songs. He also apparently recorded a bunch of music with Rick Rubin when he went to stay with him. The point is that Mac has a ton of music that he's mentioned the existence of, but he's never given given any information about the songs, leaving fans mm -hmm. in the dark. The things I touched on in this video are just scratching the surface. Eden, who I mentioned earlier in the video, says yeah. that Mac Miller has so much unreleased music. He stated that when he was staying at the sanctuary, he recorded tons of songs with a ton of artists, some of which ended up on faces and watching movies. But there's still so much, entire projects, says Eden. So hopefully someday Max's estate will compile some of the lost songs or release some of the lost projects, and hopefully the constant leaks don't get in the way of that. Let me know in the comments below which lost songs or projects you guys want to hear most. Again, like I said, I'm just scratching the surface. He has tons of other things he's mentioned briefly in interviews. These are just the things we know the most about. And as you can tell, we don't know a ton. If you guys like this video, you might like my video on Tyler the Creator's Lost Album, Wolf 2010. Yeah. Supposedly, it's his darkest album ever. And Bro. We actually have the same mic, bro. I was looking at your mic. I was like, oh, shit. We got the same mic, bro. Um, My favorite... It's not even albums, to be honest with you. It's... Um, just music in general, singles, albums, EPs, all that. 
I just want to hear more Mac Miller. You know, it's a lot of artists that's passing away due to drug abuse and all this other stuff that got they got going on. And you want to listen to their stuff before they pass away, you know? But that being said, I hope one day y'all... I hope one day they release more music if the family allows it, you know? And, yeah, I hope y'all like and subscribe to this video. Well, subscribe to this channel. My bad, I'm a little off. Uh, Matty Boss, pause. <laughs> um, that's my boy now. Um, thank you for making these videos, bro. It's people like you that I like reacting to because people like you, you're very... How can I say it? You do the videos I like to react to, if that makes sense, honestly. I just want to show love, you know? I like, I might not make all the videos y'all make, but I'll react the fuck out y'all videos, you feel me? As long as y'all know that I don't mean no harm, I ain't trying to take advantage of nothing. I'm just showing love, because I like reacting. So, yeah. Peace. Ariel the Poet.